The Russian A545 is perhaps the rarest assault rifle in use in Ukraine. Since Russia's full-scale invasion last year, there have only been a handful of sightings of the rifle, which features an internal recoil mitigation system. The A545, also known as the 6P67 Cord, is the latest iteration of a long line of rifles which began development back in the late 1970s, with the first iteration designated the AEK971, developed for Project Abakan. The A545 is a select fire rifle with an ambidextrous selector, with settings for safe, single shot, two round burst and fully automatic. The rifle is gas operated and uses a rotating bolt locking action coupled with the BARS recoil mitigation system. The rifle has a reported cyclic rate of 900 rounds per minute. The BARS or balanced automatic recoil system works by shifting mass towards the muzzle end of the rifle to counterbalance the mass of the bolt and carrier moving towards the rear of the receiver. A pair of synchronized gears in a rack and pinion system move the counterweight forward during cycling. This is powered by the movement of the bolt carrier, as well as gas tapped from the barrel. Designed by Stanislav Kokshirov and developed at the ZID Dekteryov plant in Kovrov, the A545's development was completed in 2014, adding a new collapsing stock, new furniture and lengths of Picatinny rail. The rifle was tested during the Ratnik equipment trials in 2015 onwards, which saw it tested against the AK-12 from Kalashnikov concern. The A545 reportedly fared well in the trials, but its more complicated action meant that the AK-12 was selected for wider scale issue, while the A545 was earmarked for elements of the Border Service, Special Forces and the National Guard, the Roskabardia. Serial production of the rifles reportedly began in the summer of 2020, and there's also a 762 by 39 chambered version, the A762 or the 6P68. Before the war, the A545 was seen with the Roskavardia's SOBR Rees, the VDV's 45th Independent Guards Spetsnaz Brigade, the 810th Naval Infantry Brigade, and elements of Russia's Ministry of Internal Affairs, the MVD. Since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, it's been seen on just a handful of occasions. Numerous photos have been posted by Razvados, a well-known Russian Special Operations Forces veteran. On the 9th of April, Razvados posted a pair of photos featuring himself holding an A545, along with a short review, reading, Reviews are positive, but firstly, cord is much more complicated than AK, so it's hardly suitable for a simple soldier. And this applies not only to conscripts, but also contract soldiers. Secondly, if we turn to the facts, i.e. to the test numbers, the combat characteristics of the cord although higher than those of the AK, are by no means head and shoulders above. The location these first photos were taken is unclear, although Razvados does talk about taking supplies and equipment to friends on the border with Ukraine in other posts. Several days later, on the 13th of April, Razvados shared several more photos featuring an A545, which appears to be the same rifle. It was pictured on top of a sleeping bag on a camp bed, in what appears to be a tent. This has frequently been cited as with the VDV Spetsnaz at Hostomel, but the original post doesn't claim this. The rifle is seen fitted with a 1P87 red dot optic. A third photo, seemingly also taken inside a tent, also appears to be the same rifle fitted with the 1P87. Late October saw the Russian Ministry of Defence share imagery of recently mobilised troops undergoing training, led by an instructor with an A545. In late December, a photo seemingly taken on the back of a moving vehicle shows an A545 fitted with a Holosun 403 or 405 red dot sight. Most recently, a photograph of an A545 in a fighting position, said to be in Ukraine, was shared. The rifle is seen equipped with a 45 round magazine, a suppressor, and a Holosun red dot sight. This is potentially the same rifle seen in December. Another question which is regularly asked is, have there been any sightings of the AN-94? The AN-94 was developed to meet the same requirements laid out by Project Abakan. It reportedly passed state trials and was adopted into service in the late 1990s, but its complex design means it's rarely seen. 
There haven't yet been any confirmed sightings of an AN-94 in Ukraine, or with troops training in Russia. If any of the rifles ever appear, they'll definitely be the subject of a video and article. The A545 is undoubtedly a more advanced weapon than the more common AK-12, but how many of the rifles are in service is unclear, and the extent of their use in Ukraine remains unknown. From the limited imagery available, it would seem that they've seen some limited service in theatre, while some instructors back in Russia also appear to be using the rifles. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. If there's any more sightings of A545s, I'll be sure to do an update. Head over to thearmorersbench.com to find the full accompanying article for this video. If you enjoy our content, please do consider supporting us either via Patreon or YouTube memberships. We have a range of perks available, including early access to all of our videos. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.